We had that press conference with prosecutors there uh, in Brooklyn, New York, announcing charges uh, on two New York residents, but Chinese nationals, uh, for, quote, illegally operating some of these Chinese police outposts. That's what they're calling them. Uh, well, uh, prosecutors are saying they do not have jurisdiction to do just that. But now uh, they are appearing, popping up in other cities, not just in New York City, including in Houston as well. Fox 26 Houston reporter Natalie, he has a look at this. The ultimate purpose of this illegal police station was not to protect and serve, but rather silence, harass, and threaten individuals here in the United States, and particularly those expressing views contrary to the Chinese government. This week, the FBI announced the arrest of 61-year-old Lu Jianwang and 59-year-old Chen Jinping, two Chinese nationals accused of operating this nondescript facility in New York on behalf of the Chinese government. The Justice Department also charged 34 officers from China's National Police Force for allegedly creating fake online personas to harass dissidents abroad, U.S. officials sending a firm message. Today's charges send a crystal clear response to the PRC that we are on to you. We know what you're doing and we will stop it. FBI agents raided the building in New York last fall and later shut down the alleged covert Chinese police station. But a new report by a human rights organization called the Safeguard Defenders claimed there are at least six more similar operations in cities across the U.S., including Houston. I see in our, instead in our city more of the concern of Chinese and Chinese Americans, but them being targeted in our country as opposed to back in China. Gordon Kwan is an immigration attorney who frequently works with the Asian American community in Houston. Kwan was born in China but moved to the U.S. when he was just three years old. I'm concerned about the overall fear. It's like a yellow peril has come upon Texas at this point. Kwan expressed concern that the anti-China rhetoric stemming from these allegations could do more harm than good, citing SB 147 in the state legislature that would ban certain foreign nationals from owning land in Texas. China's the country of our birth, but not the country of our loyalty. We pride ourselves on being such a diverse community. But now all this suspicion, especially toward Asian Americans, is very disturbing. And uh, how does a person prove their loyalty? Do they wear an American flag all the time? All right, Natalie, he with that story uh, of how that's not only impacting New York City, but Houston as well.